저, I, 저, 제, I or my, 제, 우리, we, us, our, 우리, 저희, we, us, our, 저희, 저희, the letter he on its own is pronounced as hui. It's a sound that starts with hu and ends with e, hui. However, when it's in a word, a lot of times it'll just pronounce as just he, the ending vowel sound rather than hui. Because to do the two vowel sound, it just takes a little more effort. So, not all the words, but some of the words, you'll notice that it's pronounced with just the ending vowel, he rather than hui. 당신, you. You wouldn't normally say this in a normal conversation with another Korean person, but you will definitely see this in writing. Okay? In writing, it's you in a formal form. 당신, 여러분, everyone, you all, 여러분, 여러분들, everyone, you all. 들 makes the 여러분 plural, but what I would note is, of course, when you say 여러분, is not in itself a plural word. It is sort of a plural word, but... Sometimes you want to emphasize you all, and so then you will say 여러분들. 여러분 is basically you're addressing an, an audience. You say this when you're addressing an audience, like ladies and gentlemen. 여러분. 모두. All, every. 모든. All. So, 모든, the word ends with the N, the N sound, and often that tells you that this is an adjective. It's going to describe something following the word after. 모든, 모든 분들. Okay, in this case, the 분 uh, is a nice way to address people, and 들, of course, makes it plural. So, 모든 분들 means everyone. I will go and come back safely. 다녀올게요. This is a casual formal. 다녀오겠습니다. This is formal way to say it. Again. 다녀올게요. 다녀오겠습니다. 다녀올게요 and 다녀오겠습니다. Uh, these are another way to say goodbye when you're leaving your home. It is a way to reassure the person that you're saying bye to that you will leave but come back safely. 다녀올게요. 다녀오겠습니다. Uh, K-pop artists will often tweet this by when they're leaving the country. 다녀올게요. 다녀오겠습니다. 조심히 들어가요. Go home safely. 조심히 들어가세요. 조심히 means carefully. 들어가다 is a dictionary form for go in or go home. So this is a way to say bye when the other person is going back to their house or when the other person is leaving and you know they're going back home. 조심히 들어가요. 조심히 들어가세요. 잘 자요. 잘 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. The literal translation of uh, these words are sleep well. 
but it is a way to say goodnight when you're about to go to sleep or when the other person is about to go to sleep. 잘 자요. 잘 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. I love you. 사랑해요. 사랑합니다. You can turn this into an adjective by saying 사랑하는 and then the person's name. So if I say 사랑하는 엄마, that means beloved mom. 사랑하는 보고 싶다. This is a statement and there's no formality to it. So it's not informal or formal. 보고 싶어요. 보고 싶습니다. The literal translation is I want to see you, but uh, it really means I miss you. And you can turn this again into an adjective by saying 보고 싶은 and with the person's name. 보고 싶은 만나요. Let's meet. 만나요. I like it or I like you. 좋아해요. 좋아합니다. It is good or I like it. 좋아요. 좋습니다. And you can turn this into an adjective. 좋은 means good. 좋은 There are a couple different ways to say thank you. And they mean the exact same thing. There's really no difference. But uh, we'll note the formality difference here though. 감사해요. 감사합니다. 고마워요. 고맙습니다. I personally tend to use 감사합니다 more often. 감사합니다. 진짜 Really? Real? True? 진짜 정말 True words, truly, really. 진짜 and 정말 can be interchangeable, but the usage sometimes is slightly different. Uh, I think you'll have to see many different uses of these words for you to understand when to use 진짜 and when to use 정말. But you can definitely use it on its own too. Just You could just say 진짜, which means really, or 정말, which means really. 너무 means so very too. Okay, so here let's use these with the thank you. And normally you don't say 진짜 감사합니다. Uh, I tend to use more 정말 and 너무. So which means thank you very much. 정말 감사합니다. 너무 감사합니다. 많이, a lot or many. 많이 축하해요. 축하합니다. This literally means I congratulate you, but it's often used for congratulations. 축하해요. 축하합니다. 진심으로 Truth coming from the heart or sincerely or truthfully. 진심으로 Okay, let's put this in a sentence. 진심으로 축하합니다. I sincerely congratulate you. 
진심으로 감사합니다. I sincerely thank you. 진심으로 감사합니다. 생일 birthday Okay, let's put this in a sentence. 생일 축하해요. Okay, this literally means I congratulate your birthday, but in English, we normally say happy birthday. 생일 축하합니다. 생일 축하해요. 생일 축하합니다. 상, award or prize. 상, 신인상, rookie of the year. 신인상, 인기상, popularity award. 인기상, 대상, grand award or artist of the year. 대상 received 받았다 This is a statement. There's no formality. It's not informal or formal. 받았어요 받았습니다 받았네 okay, this is, You say this uh, when you are sort of uh, acknowledging that that you received it or that someone received it. 받았네. The feeling of, oh, you sure did receive it. 받았네. 받은. Okay, again, if you want to turn a verb into an adjective, you put the N sound, N, on the very bottom. 받은. Received. Be careful. 조심. 조심해요. 조심하세요. Be careful. 조심해요. 조심하세요. Right, now let's try to put this in a sentence. 감기 means colds or cold viruses. 감기 조심해요. Be careful not to catch the cold. 감기 조심하세요. 감기 조심해요. 감기 조심하세요. 운전 Driving 운전 운전 조심해요. Be careful of driving or drive carefully. 운전 조심해요. 운전 조심하세요. 운전 조심해요. 운전 조심하세요. 수고했어요. 수고했습니다. 수고하셨어요. 수고하셨습니다. You worked hard or great job. 수고했어요. 수고했습니다. 수고하셨어요. 수고하셨습니다. 재미 fun 재미있어요. It is fun. 재미있었어요. It was fun. 재미 재미 있어요. 재미 있었어요. 
아름답다. 아름다워요. 아름답습니다. It is beautiful. 아름답다. 아름다워요. 아름답습니다. Okay, now, if you want to turn this verb into a, a, an adjective, you can say 아름다운. Okay, let's say if you want to say beautiful sky, then you say 아름다운 하늘. 아름다운. 덥다. 더워요. 더웁니다. It is hot. And you say this when you're referring to weather. 덥다. 더워요. 더웁니다. Okay, let's say you want to turn this into an adjective. You can say 더운. My apologies, there shouldn't be C next to 운. That's a typo. So just ignore that, see. 더운 날씨 weather 날씨 춥다 추워요 추웁니다 It is cold and you use this when you're referring to weather condition. 춥다, 추워요, 추웁니다. And if you want to turn this verb into an adjective, you say 추운. So let's say if you want to say cold weather, you say 추운 날씨, 추운. 연습 Practice. 연습. 연습실. Practice room. 연습실. 연습방. Practice room. 연습방. 연습하러. In order to practice. 연습하러. 연습해요. I am practicing. 연습해요. 연습합니다. I am practicing. 연습합니다. 열심히 With much effort or with hard work. 열심히 열심히 할게요. 열심히 하겠습니다. I will continue to work hard. 열심히 할게요. 열심히 하겠습니다. 밥 Cooked rice or a meal. 밥 먹어요 You can assume different pronouns. So, I eat, you eat, or let's eat. 먹어요 밥 먹어요 Okay, here I pronounce the 밥 as 밤 because it ends with the b, b consonant and begins with the m. M consonant. So the sound sort of changes because I want my tongue and my mouth to be able to pronounce the next consonant m sound. So the instead of pop mogoyo, it's pronounced as pam mogoyo. Let's have a meal. But let's say if you if your tongue goes up at the end, pam mogoyo means are you having a meal? 밥 
밥을 먹어요. I'm having a meal. 밥을 먹어요. Okay, let's say my tongue goes up at the end. 밥을 먹어요. Are you eating some cooked rice? 밥을 먹어요. Or you can assume different pronouns. If I say 밥을 먹어요, that means you should eat. 밥을 먹어요. 같아요. It seems like, it feels like, it's like, I think. Okay, you will see this verb ending quite often in Korean. You may wonder why Koreans say this often. This is uh, where I see the cultural difference between Koreans and Americans. Uh, Koreans usually don't want to tell their superior or someone much older a definitive statement at times. For example, if something is wrong, Koreans wouldn't normally say this is wrong to someone superior. Uh, they would tend to say this seems to be wrong. Okay? In America, if something is wrong, no matter what age or uh, regardless of who we're talking to, we have confidence to say this is wrong. In Korea, you have to think about the other person's position and the way you present yourself to that person. Uh, therefore, to someone who is superior, even if something is wrong, Koreans would tend to say 같아요. In English, when someone says, oh, it seems like, I think, it sounds quite ambiguous and not so sure about the statement. However, in Korean, it doesn't sound as ambiguous, rather sounds considerate. 같아요. 함께, together, 같이, together, or do just like. Okay, 함께 and 같이, they both mean same, uh, it means together, but if you're asking the difference between these two, uh, you'll have to, again, this one I think is one of those things, you'll have to see it in a context often to see when to use 함께, when to use 같이. Sometimes it can be interchangeable. Uh, 함께 tend to be more common in writing uh, rather than verbally. 같이 tend to be more common in verbal conversations. 함께, 같이. Uh, one thing you'll notice is when I pronounce 같이, it's not 같이. You would think it would be 같이 with a T sound. It's actually a CH sound. 같이. 하루, one day, a day. 하루. 어제, yesterday. 어제. 오늘, today. 오늘. 내일, tomorrow. 내일. 작년, last year. 작년. Okay, pay close attention to how I pronounce this word. You would think it's pronounced as 작년, but because it has a g ending on the 자, but it's actually pronounced as 장 with the ng sound because the g and ns, two consonants that you have to pronounce next to each other and they don't like it. So it's much easier to pronounce as 작년 rather than 작 Okay, so again, it's ng ending. 작년. 올해. This year. 올해. Okay, here too, you would think I will pronounce it as 올해, but uh, this o sound is takes a bit more effort to do it. So there's a little tiny bit of o sound, but it's more of a o. You start with the o and o he, and when you say he, uh, you then that's when the l sound sort of slightly touches the roof of my mouth, but that's so slight and so fast that sometimes it's hard to hear that sound. So it's not 
all he, nor is it o he, it's o he, o he. Ne nyan, next year, ne nyan. Kok, must or definitely. Kok, tak. Just this time or just right. Tak. To. Again. Tashi. Again. To. Tashi. Ungwan. Cheer support. Ungwan. Ungwan he joso. Because you cheer for us. Ungwan he joso. Fighting. It's an English word for fighting, pronounced as fighting. Fighting. It's an expression used to encourage someone. Fighting. Usually you will say, fighting. Pit. Light. Pit. Pinnage. To shine. Pinnage. Okay, here again, pay attention to how I pronounce pinnage. You would think I would pronounce it as pitnage, but I actually do a N sound because that's just easier on my tongue with the ch and n consonant right next to each other. So it's Pinnage, not pitnage. Pinnage. Pinnan, shining. Pinnan. Pinnanen, shining. Pinnanen. Pinnal, shining days. Pinnal. Him, strength, power. Him, him nage, to gather strength or garner strength. Him nage, him nan, have strength. Him nan, him nanen, have strength. Him nanen, him ne so, with strength. Him ne so. Him ikke. With strength. Him ikke. Okay, the literal translation of him ne so means is to sort of like by showing the strength. And him ikke means uh, by existing a strength. Uh, but, you know, in English it's much easier if you just simply translate it as with strength. So Jung Han Precious So Jung Han Chot First Chot Chalm First Okay now you're gonna ask what's the difference between Chot and Chalm? Chot is a uh, first in order. Chalm is more like when you have experienced something for the first time. 처음, 마지막, last, 마지막. 오랜만, it's been a while. 오랜만, 드디어, finally, at last. 드디어, 이제, now, 이제. 지금, now, 지금. 무대, literally means stage, but it could also refer to a performance. 무대, 공연, show or performance. 공연. 데뷔, it's an English word, debut. 데뷔. 
행복, happiness, 행복, 행복한, happy, and it, this is an adjective. 행복한, 행복해요. This is a verb. I am happy. Or if I ask, 행복해요. Are you happy? 행복해요. 행복합니다. I am happy. 행복하세요. I wish you happiness. 행복하시길 바랍니다. I wish you happiness. 행복하시길 바랍니다. 기억, memory, as in when you are remembering things, recalling things. 기억, 추억, it's also a memory, but 추억 is when you are reminiscing nostalgic moments in the past. 추억, 순간, moment, 순간. 최고, best, 최고, 짱, best, and this is a slang, 짱, 앞으로, looking forward, in the future, moving forward, from now on, 앞으로, Selka. It's actually a short abbreviation for self camera. Selka. Another word, selfie. Sajin. Photo, picture. Sajin. Take a picture. Jingnunda. This is a statement. It's not informal or formal. 찍는다. 찍어요. This also means take a picture. 찍어요. 찍었어요. This is a past tense, so it means I took a picture. 찍었어요. Now, if you want to turn this verb into an adjective, you say 찍은. And 찍은 describes a picture that's been taken. 찍은 출발 Start of a journey. 출발 시작 So it's also a start, but it's talking about start of an activity. 시작 끝 end, 끝, 곧, soon, 곧, 봐요, 봅시다, means let's see each other, 봐요, 봅시다, 리허설, this is an English word, rehearsal. 리허설 아프지 말고 Don't get sick or hope you don't get sick. 아프지 말고 아프지 means sick, hurt or pain. 아프지 말고 don't or not. 말고 건강하세요. Please stay healthy or hope you stay healthy. 건강하세요. 건강, health. 건강, 하세요. Please do. 하세요. 비행기, 
airplane. 비행기 노력 effort. 노력 모습 image or the way one portrays him or herself. 모습 